Hey everyone, welcome back to another 7 Days to Die episode. This will be episode 9, and the last one, yeah, we had a uh, horde night, and lots of zombies. Uh, kind of wrecked my spikes and my staircase there. Um, but we survived, killed lots of zombies. Yeah, it was uh, sort of interesting. But anyways, I do have another treasure map, and I think I need to start getting some more mechanical parts. I need to get a workbench, and there's some of the loot I got too. Let's see here, um, put that in there. I have some beakers, some paper. I didn't get too much from the zombies, but I did get some stuff. Let's see here. Um, I need to eat. Put that in there. That. Yeah, I'll just put the rest in here. Uh, put that on the hot bar just to get it out of my inventory. Um. I don't know if I do the treasure map or not, because I know I have the other one, but it's... It was all the way down here in this one city, which I'm pretty sure it won't exist because of where it's at. You know what, let's go ahead and do the treasure. Why not? Um, where's this one at? Alright, looks a little more promising. I don't believe that's in a town. Let's see, uh, can I get that centered? Yes. Um, uh, and then the shovel, 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 shovel. I don't have a shovel. And we'll just make a stone one real quick. And let's go get this treasure. Hopefully this one is actually obtainable. It's not just a spot in the ground. Well, marked on the map, but not going to actually be in the ground. We will get to that one eventually, but that's in a really dangerous area. And I don't have the tools and the resources, or the time really, <laughs> to dig all that out and prove that it just, it doesn't exist. It's, it's not going to be where it shows on the map. I'm going to put that on my hotbar as well. So yeah, last episode, episode 8, was the blood moon for the seventh day, and the zombies kind of, yeah, they wrecked the base a little bit. But that was to be expected. Right there, bud. Take a bat to the head. Yeah, what the heck? We'll take it. Oh boy. All these zombies come back already. Can I manage to get a headshot? Nope. Because the arrow went nowhere near my crosshairs. I don't want your glass, but I'll take the brass. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, that one missed. That one didn't. Nothing. Definitely will take that. Helps when you actually hit the zombie. Oh yeah, I have skill points too. I forgot about them. <laughs> Got quite a few from uh, the old Horde Knight killing of zombies. Tater seed. Because why not? 
Turn on. That might be. Oh, yep, that's it. Fall into the rock where I can't hit you. That might give me anything anyways. Oh, you're a crawler. That's why I couldn't see you. Now you're uh, a decapitated crawler. <laughs> so yeah, and, um, series here has been doing pretty good lately, and figured I'd record some more videos. At first, I was starting a series. I was like, all right, we'll go to the Blood Moon, the first one, day seven. We'll see how it does overall, how many views, comments, all that stuff, and. I like the results I've gotten, so we're going to go for another seven days into this series. And I thought about, you know, if it doesn't do good after, you know, so many videos, we'll come back to it later and maybe do something different instead of just straight up survival. But, oh yeah, I'm going to hit the, hit the ground. Ooh. We'll take that. The zombies are being a little generous with uh, the food today. Take that. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got a vitamin too. Pretty much I'll, I always just eat the vitamins right off the bat because they give you uh, the extra wellness, which means extra health and extra stamina. I don't know exactly where this treasure is going to end up at. It is definitely a good ways over this way. Moving into, I guess, like a, an uncharted territory on the map. Although I kind of know where I'm going. I, I know the console versions. NAS game map pretty well or well enough to know about where I'm going I kind of feel like this is going to end up being in the burnt forest which is like right there maybe not maybe we'll get lucky not have to deal with uh, fire and zombies and zombies that are on fire <laughs> like that guy we're going to avoid him, because I just don't want to deal with him. There's a house over there. I need to remember, I'll say. I think there's a working stiff tools over this way somewhere. And if there is, might be able to get the mechanical parts from there. Although I didn't bring a wrench, so I'm going to have to actually find them instead of disassemble stuff for them. That'll be alright. Another zombie. Lots of zombies over this way. Alright. See if we can find where this treasure is at. Before it gets too much later in the day, it's already uh, noon time, but I did get a little bit of late start because of uh, dealing with the aftermath of the uh, blood moon. We're not really dealing with it so much, just kind of <laughs> exploring what they did. Yeah, we're going to stay away from there. I don't want to deal with more zombies right now. I know it's the name of the game, it's kind of kill zombies. But I want to find this treasure. I need the money and the good stuff it'll give me, hopefully. Maybe I won't run into a bear while I'm at it. <laughs> there seems to be bears a lot on the NAS game map. Run into them quite often. All right, zombie. Figured you was gonna find me anyways. Ooh. 
Uh, I don't have that one. I have 30 skill points. Can I actually... That's leveled up. I might save it for either concrete or steel. Probably concrete. Yeah. Fortunately, I'm just going to have to save those skill points for now. So I can buy those perks when I uh, am able to. Oh, and it's going to rain now, too. Oh, is this... I wonder if this is in the river. I think there's a river just past this hill here. I hope it's not. Or if it is, it bugs out and it's like floating on the water, in the water somehow. <clears throat> oh, oh, we're here. Let's see, I have a method to my madness with this too. Like if I can line up the uh, treasure symbol, like due east exactly, or like a like cardinal direction, like north, south, east, west. And there we go. And then start digging in a straight line until it uh, effectively disappears. There we go. Oh, it's clay too. Always can use more clay for the uh, forge. Now, please, just be, like, really easy to find treasure, since, you know, the first one I tried to do pretty much doesn't exist. I've actually had times with these treasures where, like, literally I've hit one block and found it the first block I break. And then also times I've had them where they're literally, like, glitched out and they're on the surface for some reason. It just depends on where it uh it spawns in the map. That tree might fall over if I break too many of these blocks. It'll be alright though. Let's see. Um I can't remember how far down they usually spawn. I think it's about three uh, blocks into the ground. But that's assuming you're on a flat surface as well. And of course you don't have anything. Why would you? How far do I gotta go with this? Oh boy. Yeah. I don't have any uh, treasure hunting perk skill points yet, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of digging, unfortunately. But that does increase my mining tools, which I need to do that. So then I can unlock the concrete. I think it takes mining tools and construction tool. I think those are the two you have to level up to, like, 10 and 20 or something. Or is it 20 and 40? I can't remember. Kind of sucks, but... Can't have everything from day one, I suppose. But usually when I actually find a treasure, like, come to the area I'm supposed to search, I dig, like, a, I don't know, you want to call it a plus or an X over it in, like, the direction, like, north-south and then east-west. Kind of, like, give me an outline of, like, how big of an area I need to search and dig in. And sometimes I find it while digging, like, these, uh... I don't know if it's, like, a pilot hole or a, a pilot trench in the areas 
but it helps me figure out where I need to dig at. Another zombie. Where were you guys at last night? Like, <laughs> all right, I'll take that. Like, <laughs> what hardly as many zombies for a blood moon as there usually is. And then now I've run into so many just wandering about. It's like they couldn't find me; they got lost on the way here or something. Oh well. Still got way many skill points I can spend, but I'm probably gonna save them for the, uh, the concrete. All right, so that's how far east to west this uh, area is. I need to search. Let's scrap that. All right, uh, come on. I need my shovel, and then I go from north to south, kind of like. like this here it is possible I will find it digging this trench but then again this game screwed me out of one already we'll, we'll see why it'll stop at one or it could be really nice and give me like double treasure like double the amount it normally would I don't know if that possible or even a thing but it'd be kind of cool the way this is looking it's possible we'll get caught out in the middle of the night so yeah might run the episode just a tad bit long I don't know if it'll be longer or short still because it didn't start like at the beginning of the day with it so I don't know might run just a little long or a little short. Just see how far I get finding the treasure and how far I can get back to the base before I decide to end it. Uh, yes. This is where it's going to get tricky now. Got to dig into the hillside. taking so much to break like, holy cow I'd figure for dirt blocks it wouldn't take too much to destroy but it does Are definitely making me work to find this one unfortunately guess you'll have that you'll have that on these big jobs of uh, trying to find treasure all the boring digging although it did kill zombies so it's not been that boring today I should search that Take those. It's definitely not going to be nice and just let me, you know, find it already. <laughs> and I should be careful about uh, standing that close to stuff as it breaks. I've died from that. <laughs> Apparently, you know little things like that falling no further than they are in block form it just somehow kills you you know makes perfect sense i suppose i'm gonna have to make our shovel already this one's toast pretty sure last episode i said something about don't let your tools get below half their ability or they get weaker well i've been sitting there with a Almost dead shovel pounding on the same block of dirt. <sighs> Come on, treasure.
It's going to end up being like literally the last block I try to dig out of this uh, area, isn't it? Alright, well there's the northern edge of this whole place. Uh, you know what, let's cut this tree down real quick. It's, it looks like a good place to start. We'll start on like this, uh, I guess like a southwest quadrant. Which I should dig this down one more level. Because I think I only dug it one block deep and usually I try to dig them about two blocks deep. All the fun of digging dirt in this game. Or clay, I guess it's right now. Definitely want the clay. We'll throw all that dirt away later. that way but I got a little more clay I guess was that a deer at the top of the screen I just seen walk by that's what it looked like I don't hear a zombie so hopefully it's not a zombie is so much fun guys <laughs> gotta love digging holes just to find things that probably won't give me anything or it will but it won't be anything good give me another shovel and we'll start working on this uh whoa what the heck so weird. Start digging out this uh, quadrant of the area, I guess. Oh, there it is. Yes. It's not bad. I mean, they're gun parts, yes. But usually I like seeing more than just that. Let's get rid of that. I don't need it anymore. It's a very nice start on some money. Can maybe buy some decent stuff with that much. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, especially what time it is when I get back to the actual base. But I'm glad I actually found it. Makes me feel a little better. <laughs> that first treasure, I'm pretty sure it won't exist. But I won't give up on it totally until <laughs> we've removed like every block from the possible area over there. Which it might take a it might take an auger and some dynamite to do that. And I'm a ways off from getting any of that. Um actually let me look here. Whoa. Yep. Mining level 20. So I can get the concrete. I'm only at 10. Yeah. Oh well. We'll get there eventually. Especially if I uh, actually do some mining. These zombies are everywhere. I hear another one, too. I'll take that. Where are you at? There you are. 
Good thing the zombies don't wear camouflage, or I definitely would never see them coming. <laughs> uh, where's that coal at? Might as well grab this and make gunpowder with it. Although I'd prefer to wait to get a chemistry station. Um, definitely want a chemistry station to make gunpowder. You can actually make twice the amount of gunpowder with the same amount of uh, coal and potassium nitrate you can get. Uh, and my pickaxe is starting to die on me now too. All right. Oh, level eleven. Then you get back to base. That was a double bird nest. <laughs> You could swear I have like ADHD or something, but I don't. I just, I see stuff out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, you know, I should probably grab that or I should check that out or, ooh, what was that? You know, that could be important. It's more of a survival kind of like playing the game instinct than it is like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> like these deer, like, yeah, I see them running out of the corner of my eye, but I'm like, you yeah, know, it's just a deer. I don't need to focus my attention on that. There's a, uh, I think it's this lake. The lake here has a, uh, a thing in the middle. I don't know if, it, yeah, there's a thing in the middle of it. You stay over there, zombies. Like, leave me alone. Just trying to get back to my base. <laughs> um, but that little, like, dock pavilion house out there. <laughs> It's actually got some pretty cool stuff in it. I'll have to go out there and uh, check it out. Actually, that would make a really cool base out there. I have to think about that for a little bit. Alright, really zombies. I wanted you the last episode, not this one. <laughs> It's like everywhere I go, I run into a bunch of zombies now. Should probably make some of those arrows while I'm uh, a running. Since I actually, I used quite a bit of arrows in the uh, last episode for the Blood Moon. I had like over a stack, like 250, 260 some arrows. And I got down to under 90. Uh, that's a lot of arrows fired at zombies. My character sounds completely out of shape. Hi there. I'm not having you follow me back to my base to then uh, proceed to pound on it some more also. Oh, mate. Maybe I'll make it back to... Uh, the base before it gets dark and the zombies decide to sprint after me. I really should have went to the orchid stiff or tried to find it while I was over there. But I have a bunch of junk in my inventory I want to put in the base before I uh, do that. That'll help a little bit. Figured I needed some water, and that'll give me a little stamina as well. Um, think here. So yeah, next episode, probably the working stiff tools. Try to get a workbench built, and possibly a new base location. Whether I build one myself or reclaim another building for it, I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. All right, buddy, catch your breath. Eventually, we'll get back to base. Turn on the flashlight since, you know, it's so dark. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't get all that dark sometimes. I don't know why. 
Oh, it's too bright. <laughs> uh, oh, that stuff in here I can melt down. Put that there and that there. Um, I'll just put that there for now. Didn't have anything going on in the campfire. No room in there for anything. So just do this. And then eventually I will reorganize all my uh, crap. Because <laughs> I have a lot of it. Um, uh, need that. Need to eat more of that, apparently. Drink another one of those. And then call it an episode. So, thank you guys for watching. If you stuck around to the end of this video, uh, please comment, subscribe. All the interactions are greatly appreciated. But, thank you again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.